listen to the Quran yeah. and listen to it and try to understand the meaning and it will touch you much more than music does ever. There's two things over here that I'd like to point out to. Uh, the first thing is that when we, you know, one of the things that is recognized mm -hmm. about reading is that when the author, when he writes a book, he ba mm -hmm. basically pours his heart out into that book. Mm -hmm. And when you read somebody's work, his work affects you. Yes. How will it be when you read the book of God? SubhanAllah, right? yes. And the second thing that I wanted to uh, point out to uh, was that, um, you know, one of the things about, about the Quran is that, you know, we find a, uh, a commandment in the Quran, you know, وَإِذَا قُرِئَ الْقُرْآنَ فَاسْتَعِيُّ لَهُ وَأَنْسِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ mm -hmm. When the Quran is, be, listen to it. Mm -hmm. and remain silent. So one of the things that the fuqaha say is that it is more meritorious to listen to the Quran than to recite it. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has a great effect. It, it, you, it, 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 tremendous. And you, sometimes, you know, when the reciter has a, a nice voice, it's oh, yeah. just amazing, the touch and the feeling. Yeah. SubhanAllah. Uh, there, there's some clips on YouTube from reciters from Cyprus mm -hmm. and from Afghanistan and Iran and Egypt and India and Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. It just blows your mind what these people can do. Yes. Just, you know, they're reciting, but it's really doing something to your heart. Yes. SubhanAllah. I, I personally uh, love Sheikh Mishari Rashid al Afasi from Kuwait. It just, I listen to him all day long and I have a lot of friends uh, who does the same. It's amazing. But there's a lot yeah. others, yeah. but it's just finding. And maybe each one of us has different, you know. Sure. I could be touched by this person, somebody else touched by another style or another person. My, my, my personal preference is Sheikh Mahmoud Khalil al husri Subhanallah, and yes. Sheikh Abdul Basit. There's just something about them. But this is more classic, what I yeah. would say, classic reciting. Right, right. The new Contemporary, thing, yeah. Yes, the new ones, which uh, for me is Sheikh uh, Mishari Rashid and Sheikh um, uh, Ahmed Al-Agami from Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love listening to them. But I encourage everybody, listen to different reciters. Yeah. Find the ones you like, the ones that, you know, their voice and their, the way they uh, uh, recite touches you. Yeah. And this way, we're not saying music is haram, but you will find, yes, it's halal and it is allowed, but you will find other avenues that, you know, Just creating a, more different, a better preference. Yes. One of the things that you will notice, and you, I'm sure you noticed it when you started re, you know, listening to the Quran recitations, is that when you open yourself up to that world, mm -hmm. you find all these options that you had no idea existed. Yes. And you're like, wow. You know, I can listen to this guy, and then you started. Mm -hmm. You develop like an acquired taste. Yes. For you know, you know, the reciters and mm -hmm. what have you, right? Yeah. And that that is a very enjoyable experience. Yeah, and uh, Subhanallah. Now with the internet and there's websites, you can choose which reciter, which surah, which ayah, and it's it's amazing. The choices are amazing, huh? But uh, you know, I encourage people go and listen and enjoy it, and let us know which ones you like and share. And what I also I find, uh, you know, even if I like uh, a certain reciter, I like him for a certain surah. Mm -hmm. he, this surah, he's you know, he says it nice. Another surah could be another person, and mm -hmm. a third surah, a third mm -hmm. person. Subhanallah, it's, I want to put in myself a group of for each reciter and the, you know, how he recited certain surah mm -hmm. and put uh, the best, <laughs> as you might say. Yeah, you're absolutely right. One of the things that, uh, you know, again, one of the things about musical theory that Muslims developed mm -hmm. was, you know, this idea of maqamat. Yes. Right? What uh, does maqamat mean? Sorry. Uh, f from whatever little I know, and yeah. I know very little mm -hmm. about maqamat, is uh, that uh, these are what, what is called mus uh, musical modes. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, and uh, there's... Some people, according to some people, there would be eight basic ones, or twelve mm -hmm. basic ones, or seven basic ones. Yeah. Uh, and there's, you know, uh, you use those to build other ones on top, mm -hmm. right? And the th the theories that people develop generally from these maqamat mm -hmm. is uh, uh, they would take this musical modes and recite the Quran according to it, or mm -hmm. sing an ashid according to it. Yes. Yeah. And it would have specific effects on people. Mm -hmm. uh, the maqam of saba, for example, or hijaz, is generally mm -hmm. a sad maqam. Yeah. Uh, and the maqam of bayat is generally a happier maqam. Okay. So they would, uh, you know, they would recite, uh, you know, mm -hmm. even today, you know, there's a shuyukh here in Toronto. Yeah. And when you read the taraweeh behind them, 
they recite specific verses yes. of uh, you know uh, of remorse or mm -hmm. for, you know asking for forgiveness or hellfire. Mm -hmm. when, when they recite those verses, they recite in a maqam that is a very sad maqam, hijaz yes. or or or, or, or mm -hmm. uh, sabah. When they rec recite you know some other part of the Quran about joys of paradise, they recite it in a mm -hmm. different maqam, yes. which is you know a more joyous maqam. Mm -hmm. uh, I find that this knowledge is becoming lost. Why do you say that? I, uh, if anything, I think there's more and more of it. No, I would love it for there to be more, right? But you know, mm -hmm. the depth of understanding that we had, you know, there's very few people who we encounter among, yeah. you know, uh, reciters. For if, mm -hmm. if a reciter is, for example, coming out of Egypt, yeah, right, he knows this and mm -hmm. he understands it, yeah. and he's very good at it, mm -hmm. right? Reciters who are ge are generally not connected to such a tradition, yeah, um, such as you know, uh, reciters from mm -hmm. South Asia. You will find them that they're reciting, you know, according to a maqam. We're running out of time. This is a great thing. Maybe we'll talk about it in the future. But let's encourage young people to go and learn and recite Absolutely. and enjoy it. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Well, uh, salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.